If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best and the worst promos of Madden 20. Now, I got my big IC over here ready to go. It's going to be a long video. You guys complain about how dry I sound in the morning. Yes, I know. I literally wake up and I make these videos. Early in the year, that's not exactly the case because, specifically, the issue is with early in the year that I usually wake up around like 9 a.m. No, actually, what am I talking about? 7 a.m. to start my day for videos. So I'm ready, well hydrated, well fed, well, I'm gonna make my videos. These I wake up and I just go and get it done. So a little bit different, but I got my iced tea. Went to the deli before we got this video started. I'll be ranking the best through worst promos. Now, guys, I'm actually really excited for this. It's gonna be a super fun video. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna give my thoughts on each and every promo as we go through it. I think this is so fun to just recap the year. Give a little nostalgia, but let's get over to, we're going to head over to the screenshots. Well, not the screenshots for the first time. It's actually going to be a tier maker. Shout out to Popular Stranger, who actually did tweet this list out. So shout out to him if you want to go. For credit wise, it's Popular Stranger. He, I believe he made this. He tweeted out for other content creators, so thank you for allowing us to do this. And go check out his channel. Awesome content over there, but let's get into this, guys. All right, guys, so I do know that my camera is going to be cutting off, I believe, here through here, which you cannot see, probably, you probably can't even see where I'm pointing out, but you can see all the way up to here. So I'm going to start with these three rows right here, and then as we get over to us, I will either move the camera or turn it off. So let's start with the first ones. We got greatness, solid, good enough, meh, and trash. Now, some promos may, f I don't think, it, not many promos really fall into the trash category. There will be some, but there's always some that are just like, eh, it was good enough. Now, there will be a few that I probably think are trash, but more than likely, I'm not that negative when it comes to this, this game in general, because I did I do like it at the end of the day. Start with the Blitz. Now, the Blitz promo, one of the better ones this year. Now, don't get me wrong. They kind of undersold it. I feel like it wasn't as good as past years, but the Blitz promo is still one of the best promos. And as a content creator, it was fun to make videos on. For me, I remember, I'm going to look at things as a content creator. Was it fun for me to make videos on and stuff? Blitz was super fun. Posting like six videos a day, every new offer, Black Friday, Lamar Jackson was awesome. I think this one is going to be in solid. Was it the best promo of the year? Probably not, but I thought it was it was fun. Next, we have the Easter promo. Personally, wasn't the biggest fan of the Easter promo. Didn't like the cards. Barry was good for like a day. Um, Ed Reed was okay. The other cards were too low. The LTDs were too low. I didn't think overall that promo really makes it where it should be. I think it was, it was meh. I, I don't even think it was good enough. I wasn't really a fan of it. The Combine promo. Combine promo is always super fun. This year specifically, I wasn't the biggest fan of all the cards. I didn't think, like, I, in the past years, you get those Vernon Davises. I mean, like, the past Combine promos were super, super fun. This year was okay. I think that goes into good enough. I think what it needs to be to be improved. But I mean, we got Deion Sanders. I think we would have needed more than just Deion Sanders as that main, main master. I would at least need to see a Vernon Davis. And a few of the t typical staples. NFL Draft. NFL Draft is obviously super fun. Now, the only reason people discount the NFL Draft is primarily because it is at the beginning of, I mean, it's at the end of the year. So already people are like dying off of it. But I think the NFL Draft was it was good enough. Again, a pretty it was a solid promo. Not solid that level, but it was good enough. It got the job done. Okay, right here. Fan appreciation. We got a free golden ticket. We got some decent packs to play with. But again, that was it. Like, nothing that was spectacular about it just yet. Flashbacks. Oh, that's simple. That, that's trash. That's straight trash. I hate making videos on it. Nothing about flashbacks is fun. Not Actually, I don't think there was one flashback all year that was actually useful. All right, so Football Outsiders. It was meh. Once a month, decent cards. Okay. For Agency. For Agency was decent. I was actually in Florida when it first dropped, which it kind of sucked. But the promo itself, it was, it, no, it was good, but it wasn't great. I'm putting good enough. It was a fun, it was a decent promo. Now, don't make fun of me. I'm pretty sure G's Gauntlet, right? That's Gauntlet. Gauntlet again, another one of those promos where the players were okay. I honestly don't. I honestly don't think Gauntlet was that good this year. Gauntlet was much better in years past. I don't think it was that great this year. Gauntlet should be super fun. They released the last one really late. Golden tickets. Golden tickets were solid in my opinion. Now, golden tickets again. We got so we got a free. We got two free ones. In past years, we've never even gotten a gold. I've never even touched a golden ticket, and this year we got free ones. So I'm gonna put it in style because it was, it was, you know, we got a good release of them. A decent amount of them were made. You know, Vic, Lamar, all those guys, they got down pretty cheap eventually. Hard to pull, but again, they were free ones. We, we can't discount free gold tickets. The Harvest promo. Now the Harvest promo to me was fun. I thought the Harvest promo was pretty fun. Now I, they gave us those like eight cards you could build up. That was pretty good. 
Now, that was one of the bigger promos, so, you know, I'm going to keep it up in the solid category, just because I think that uh, when it comes to promos like the Harvest promo, it's one of the big seasonal promos. Those are always super fun. Heavyweights. <sighs> they weren't as bad as flat. No, no. Heavyweights are trash, too. What am I talking about? NFL Honors. NFL Honors was, again, a fun time. Some great cards. Didn't get to use much of them. Christian McCaffrey kind of sucked. Gilmore was kind of slow. But it's still a fun time. There's great card art style. I like that one. Journey. Trash. Trash. I think it was trash. The, the solos weren't fun enough this year. The rewards weren't. I liked when Journey was like, you get a bunch of packs. All You get so many packs. All pro packs. Legend packs. And you would just rock through it. Get a free player at the end. Get some more packs. I liked when you had the chance to pull something. Not when everyone gets the same reward at the end. Legends. Good enough. I don't think the Legend promo was that. I don't think the solos were good this year. Like I liked the back when it would be... There'd be five solos a week to ten solos a week for Legends. And then you got a Legend Fantasy pack. Fun, right? That's all you got to do. No, they give us just the power-ups of the players. Now, all those power-ups all go for a thousand coins because everyone has one. Not my, not my thing. Now, the up bar. What I have to assume that is here, I wish it was to say, like, if you, if you hover over it. I have to assume that's going to be, like, the Mutt dedication and, like, the, the grinding. I think. Unless it's those level-up solos, but I really don't think it is. I think it's just, I'm checking here on the Madden screen real quick just to get an idea for it. To make sure let's see let's see series progression okay series i actually really did like series progression this year i think that was solid i wonder if anything will fall into the greatness here actually i do see one that i'm really gonna like in just a second but nfl uh you know what as the list goes on though we may make adjustments based on what i see in those categories again because some car so as i see what's really what they like what stands out what really could have been pushed up a little bit but moving on to uh serious regression wherever I, where I put that right here okay so that's right there i think that serious regression was fun i really liked making series update videos i really liked muck grinding the mutt levels were good rewards most feared most feared again i think most of was super fun i think that a lot of it was fun i don't think the cards were the greatest again if the cards are just great like you know what i'm, I'm gonna make a quick switch here a real quick switch for just a second i really did like the blitz promo again as a content creator, it was so much fun for me all day. Had me on point. Lamar was awesome. I'm going to make that move up because I'm realizing I like those better than all of these so far. The Blitz, I know again, it wasn't even our best Blitz promo in years, which sucked. But it was still super fun for me. I thought the Blitz was really, it was just a great time. And then Black Friday, it was Thanksgiving right before then. It's a good time. Mutt 10. Mutt 10 is borderline greatness for me. It was such a good time to make videos for me. It's going to go in the solid section. That was the group, that was the, uh, the players that were being dropped every single Friday. I remember I posted Dion video and that video would just bang instantly when I posted that thing. People were so hyped for that. But again, it wasn't like a big promo, so I'm not going to put it up anymore because again, not much more of what happened. Uh, Mud Heroes, I really don't like Mud Heroes ever. To be honest with you guys, I really just don't, I don't like it. But it was good because they, they got good players. There's cool card heart. There's cool sets, but I've never been a big fan of Mud Heroes. The NFL 100 all-time team. This was good. This was solid. We got way too many cards at one time. I think they could have bracketed it better. I think they could have been better solos. I don't think it was a great promo, but it was definitely fun. Playoffs. The playoffs promo, good enough. I've never been a fan. Again, playoff promos had some good years, but sometimes had some bad years. I was not a fan of it this year too much. Training and leveling up this year. I think that, you know what? Because training's not a promo. Remember that. It's just a fact. Let's just talk about training in general, right? Like just the fact that you can train things. Power ups. I really love power ups. I really love the fact that I can power up. I can make. I can personalize my own guy. Power him up. Put cams in him. Put abilities on him. It's like my own personal card. I think that's going greatness, right? Because that was an all year thing. I love powering up cards. It's fun to do. That's gonna have to go in greatness there, right? I, I'd imagine it has to. Just for that. Can I get a better mode here? Oh, there we go. That 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 works a lot better actually. Cool. I wish I knew that beforehand. So NFL rookie premiere. Uh, rookie premiere again. It's going to be one that goes into solid, just because of the fact that it is. We get player cards for next year, and it was fun. It's solid. It was it was okay. We got some free ones. Just about the signature series. Uh, don't like them. I think they're meh. I think they're overpriced. Uh, the cards are never really great. Stay home and play. Eh, meh. I mean, the coin, the free coins were good, but no one really did it. And then they never really changed the rewards after that. The Super Bowl promo was really fun. I'm going to put that in greatness. I really did like the Super Bowl promo. We got good packs. It was hype. Because think about it, Super Bowl is the prime of the football year. We ever want to be playing Madden more than then. 
you know, we get to do the gambling, you know, with the whole what player will score, running back to your Xbox if you get it, your Tyree kill. There were so many good sets. Super Bowl's up there. It's one of my favorite promos of the year. It's just a fun time. Here we got, I believe, Mutt Superstars. Mutt Superstars was in solid. When it first came out, Mutt Superstars was at the pinnacle. It was a fun time. Back to what I'm saying. Uh, Mutt Superstars was fun. I was actually at a Khalid concert that night when it dropped, sadly. Or at least a pre-release drop. No, no, the actual drop. Which did kind of suck. I'm going to be scheduling way better this year for that. But that was such a fun time. That Mahomes was glitchy. That D-Law was glitchy. That Odell was glitchy. I like that one. Team captains, as per usual. I would have put them in greatness, but it was only solid this year because I did feel like there was a point where things were kind of stagnant. I, I wish we had more options. I really think they should give us like 10 team captains. Like next year, they should give us 10 team captains to choose from. They let us switch, but there's only one best option, which is Shazier. They let us pick our own, but there's only four options. If they give us 10, make us think. Make, give us like a wide receiver, a quarterback, a running back, a half, you know, a, a cornerback, a tight end, a lineman. Like, imagine, like, if I could have a team captain center that just plows the trenches. Like, there should be a lot more. I want it to be more unique. I like, like, it's like how I used to, like, 2K13 NBA. When you used to open packs and you, could, you couldn't buy legends. You had to pull them. So, not everyone, everyone had different people all the time. In Madden, everyone had Shazier. Personal opinion. Uh, theme Builders 2. I got Saquon out of it. It was solid. We had a lot of cards. I got Saquon out of it. Solid, solid, solid. Uh, this was the one with the legends. I honestly thought it was meh. I didn't like it. I thought all the players were trash and they were all overpriced. I really didn't like any of it. Team of the week. Solid. Team of the week is solid. I like team of the week. Comes out every single week. Some good cards. Only issue is that a lot of the times they botch and give us cards that either should have didn't A, A, didn't deserve it, or B, they give us, we get a card that we want and it's trash stats. Team of the year is going to greatness. I love team of the year. One of my favorite promos every year. And of course, I was in Spain. I was in Barcelona for that one. Just my luck, right? Two of my, some of my favorite ones I happen to not be here for. So, uh, the team of the year, so much fun. We get so many good cards. I love the card art. There, a lot of them are some can be end game cards for a while, until you know the actual end game come out. But guys, these cards were awesome. I really do enjoy it. Ultimate trainers, uh, trash. I mean, no man, we got we got we got like a free eighty five in the beginning for it. Ultimate legend is solid. Am I running out of solid space here? What happens? Okay, it gets bigger. Ultimate Legends was solid. In my opinion, though, it wasn't as great as it could have been. There, There's much more you could do with that. Much better players. Much better stats. But it is what it is. Veterans, trash. I am so happy to see you three here. Flashbacks, heavyweights, and veterans. All three of you made me hate making those. I hated making those videos. I'd be like, oh, yeah, flashback. Oh, they suck. At first, I loved it. I was like, oh, yeah, New Madden season flashback. And then I'd be like, oh, Shady McCoy today. And then i go check it out. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, cool. 85 speed. Yay. Oh, well, yeah, guys. Like, I, I couldn't even be hyped about it. Hopefully, they, re they revamp these for next year. Because, guys, back in the day, if you guys played Madden, if you guys watched, like, the Cullen Cullen Burger, like, 2K13, uh, 2K13, Madden 13, Madden 14, back when it was, like, flashback, fastback gameplays, and the flashbacks were like, some of the best cards. Those are the days we need to go. And flashbacks were, like, borderline LTDS. Like, they were just amazing. And now for the Zero Chill, the Christmas promo. Overall, just everything for the Christmas greatness i love the christmas promo as well always such a fun time you know it's cold outside if i mean depending where you live it's cold outside there's snow there's presents there's fun there's videos i love it now let's revamp this list before we get on out of here so starting with the trash any of these are gonna be moving no no you were you guys were all trash easter promo you can stay i didn't like you football outsiders it's not that i didn't like you you just weren't around enough Sing series gone no these stay okay so good enough combine promo yeah, I wasn't, I was like, it, no, should, I feel like I should move that one up. It, it wasn't my favorite, but it also wasn't bad. It, it was a decent time. Uh, no, no, it's too many Aragons. No, that stays. NFL draft, again, too late in the year. Fan appreciation, you didn't give me a golden ticket. Free agency, you were okay, legends. Okay, that stays. Now, what can we move around here? Golden tickets where you make the jump to greatness. I don't think so. It wasn't a fun enough time for me. It was, it was cool, not fun enough. The Harvest promo. You gotta, no, the Harvest promo's gotta go into greatness, because I do love, I do love seasonal promos. Seasonal promos make me really, they're, they're, they make me happy, they're fun times. NFL honors, no. Most feared. Mmm. No. Most feared. The cards weren't good enough, that was my issue again. The cards weren't good enough. Although, I do love a good seasonal promo. I'm gonna keep it right there, I like these so far. 
Harvest was cool. We got the Cornucopia, that whole stuff, which tied right into Blitz. And then, let's see, all time. Okay, we're good. Our list is final, guys. This is our final list that we have. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys any anything to refute with me, if you guys think flashback should be in greatness, let me know down below in the comment section. Guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, bud boys. Join the family. Comment down below, like I said, and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.